Namaste and hello. This is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 73. For the last few videos, we learned about the vowel sandhis in depth and the first video on the vowel sandhi, lesson number 70, was about similar, um, simple vowels combining with similar simple vowels. And then in lesson number 71, we learned about simple vowels combined with dissimilar simple vowels. Then in lesson 72, we learned about diphthongs combining with similar vowels, diphthongs combining with simple vowels. And I'm just scrolling up so you could see what we did so far. And you can always go back to the previous videos. But I like to use this as a transition into our new lesson. And although we learned all of these vowel sandhi rules, there are exceptions to the rules, okay? Um, it wouldn't be a rule if there were no exceptions. I like to think of it that way. So um, exceptions to the rules. There's two exceptions. So interjections like ah, he, and aho do not combine with the following word. It doesn't matter what type of word it is, if it starts with a vowel, if it starts with a diphthong, if it starts with a consonant, it doesn't combine with any of the following words. Um, for example, he, um, he is a word that you would want to use with um, in the vocative case. And if you wanted to say, for example, um, he, Hey, money. If you wanted to call out to a sage in the vocative case, you would say, hey, money. Um, so those type of words do not combine with, a, with any of the following words. The next exception is that the vowel sign, the vowels E, U, and A, when it is in a dual termination, those vowels remain unchanged before the vowels. So for example, um, Vane, for example, Vane is in a dual termination. Vane atiti, Vane atitihi, Pashyati. The guest sees two forests. So Vane is before is followed by the a in vane is followed by the a in a titi and usually like this should have been elided and this vane the a in vane should have like remained unchanged but the a stays where it is because vane is part of a dual termination this is two forests we're talking about so that stays as it is but if you see the next example the a is elided the guest dwells in a forest. Vane and this a uh, was replacing an atiti and it became elided. This a in vane is not indicating um, a vocative. It's not indicating two forests, but this is actually vocative singular. Okay, so vanam vane vanani, vanam vane, vane is dual in the first sentence, but it's vocative singular in the second sentence. So the guest dwells in a forest. So this is vocative singular. In this one, this is, um, it sees two forests. So this is dual accusative. And vana is a neuter noun that ends in a. Vanam vane vanani. So that's why that one, this a uh, is elided. That's why vane atitihi Vasati became Vane Atitir Vasati. Atitir. This um, was replacing the Visarg. Okay. So, um, yeah, so the guest dwells in the forest. Um, dwells in the forest and a guest sees two forests. All right, next. So, kavi ichataha is a dual termination. And because ichataha is a dual termination, 
Tita and auntie. This is third person duo. Nothing happens. Okay? It's not even joined to be kavichataha. That's an exception. It just stays the way how it is. And in the last example, we have bandu. Atirti nayataha. Bandu atirti nayataha. So nayataha nayataha is also dual in the third person. So nothing happens there. But that is not why th that is not why this this sentence is an exception. Bandu is actually dual and it's a masculine noun that ends in u. So this is dual nominative. And this means that the two friends are the two friends are saluting the two friends salute the guests and this became a visarg because it was preceded by um this became a ra because it was preceded by um a vowel except a uh, and then was followed by a soft consonant so because of this because this is dual, this U here and this A, uh, nothing happened to this U, this long U, because um, it is a dual termination. And this goes back to the explanation E, U, and A when in dual terminations remain unchanged before vowels. So we have an example with E, we have an example with long U for the dual termination, and then we have an example with the A here. So that's everything um, for the vowel sandhis. And this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste, and I'll see you in the next video.